Joe David's fluency in traditions and design were born out of many years of attending ceremonies and visiting museums and galleries to see the work of his ancestors. His works always have a subtle beauty, and they're really exemplified by both of these pieces, uh, the strong forms and lines of Wiccaninish that really exemplify a man of high stature, and then the wildness of Uthmakirke. David has spoken about both of these works previously, and he has also spoken to that when he makes a mask, he needs to fulfill their function. He is quoted as saying, when I make a mask, I'll see that it'll fit a face. I can see through it properly, and it is a usable thing. In a previous exhibition that featured these two pieces, David was quoted as saying, Wiccaninish is a chief initiating a Tluklana ceremony and the first man of the big house ceremony. He is a man of highest stature of the social order, refined, pure and proper, and respected and honored. Whereas by contrast with this other piece, Uth Makoke is a wild man of the forest and is the one to enter the big house ceremony after the wolves of the Tluklana have exited. Uth Makoke is crude and even mean and feared and would seem the direct opposite to the host, Wiccanish. What can maybe be seen as a really simple piece, I think is further explained by David speaking about Ulf Makoke. I have made it my life's work to properly portray Ulf Makoke, and it's been a struggle. I believe it would take an artist of wild nature to harness the energy required to pull an image into society that would do justice to the true nature of Ulf Makoke. Many modern artists have tried and failed, and maybe a few times come close. I carved the two masks in an ancient style because it's only been the ancients who have been successful in the execution of these portraitures. And the success is due to the simple fact that at the time, these people lived their examples. It takes sacred energy and wild energy to portray the sacred and the wild.